Have you ever wondered what's inside the sun? Or have you looked up and pondered how something so small in the sky can heat and give life to our entire planet? The sun is a lot bigger than you can imagine. In fact, it's so big that you could fit more than one million Earths inside. And yet, it's average sized compared to others. There are far larger, stranger stars in the universe millions of times bigger than ours. First, let's debunk a common myth. The sun is not on fire. It's not burning like wood in a fireplace. Instead, the sun shines because of a process called nuclear fusion. And it can accomplish such a feat because it's filled with hydrogen atoms under intense pressure and temperature. This environment forces the hydrogen atoms to combine and form helium. When this happens, a small amount of mass is lost and converted into tremendous energy, as Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared describes. This energy travels outward through multiple regions, before finally reaching the surface and radiating into space as heat and light. Let's take a moment to delve deeper. In the heart of the sun, we find a realm that is completely different from our own. No life can survive here. This is the core, the powerhouse where nuclear fusion happens. The sun is 865,000 miles in diameter, and if we were to journey from the very center of the sun outwards, we'd still be in the core for the first quarter of our trip. It's in this intense section where the sun's energy is born. Temperatures at the very center can reach up to 25 million degrees Fahrenheit. The core also has an incredible density, nearly 150 times the density of water. This extreme density exists because the sun's massive gravity pulls material inward. The density is estimated to reach over 100,000 kilograms per cubic meter. To visualize this, a chunk the size of a sugar cube would weigh around 100 million tons on Earth. Additionally, the pressure at the center of the core is estimated to be an incredible 340 billion times the air pressure at sea level on Earth. To summarize, the core is unimaginably hot, dense, and pressurized. This environment allows hydrogen atoms to smash together with enough force to fuse into helium atoms, releasing energy in line with Einstein's equation about mass energy equivalence. Moving outwards, we reach the radiative zone. Here, energy from the core bounces around for up to a million years before it reaches the next layer, the convective zone. This is where hot plasma rises, cools, and then sinks back down in a process called convection, similar to boiling water. Finally, we reach the photosphere, the visible surface of the sun. Relative to the blazing core, the temperatures here are a frigid 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Still, it's plenty warm enough to cook your Thanksgiving turkey. Above this last layer, the sun's atmosphere extends into space, creating the beautiful corona we see during a total solar eclipse. It's easy to see the corona during these periods because the moon blocks the much brighter photosphere, allowing you to witness the sun's ethereal atmosphere glowing and undulating against the cosmic void. In the far future, approximately five billion years from now, the sun will have used up all the hydrogen fuel in its core. This will mark the beginning of the end stages of the sun's life cycle. With no more hydrogen left to fuse into helium, the outward pressure that holds the core up begins to diminish and the core starts to collapse under its own gravity. This collapse will increase the density and temperature dramatically. As this occurs, something exciting begins to happen. Under these new conditions, the sun's core begins fusing helium atoms together into heavier elements like carbon in a process called helium burning. However, the heavier element burning phases will cause the sun's outer layers to rapidly expand. Over the course of millions of years, the sun will grow to over 100 times larger than its current size, transforming into what is known as a red giant star. During this red giant phase, the expanding sun will likely grow so large that it will engulf Mercury, Venus, and even Earth inside its outer atmosphere. Temperatures on any remaining planets will be scorching hot. After another billion years and multiple phases of expansion and contraction, the Sun will eventually eject its outer layers of gas into space, leaving only the dense core. This leftover stellar core is called a white dwarf, which will be about the size of Earth, 
but contains as much mass as the original sun. With no more fuel left for fusion, the white dwarf will start cooling down for many billions of years, slowly fading into obscurity. So the next time you feel the sun's warmth on your skin, remember the incredible journey that energy has taken from the sun's core to reach you. And remember, our sun is just one of the billions of stars in the galaxy, destined to fade into oblivion. But other stars will be born, die, and take their place. Our universe maintains balance through this celestial cycle of death and renewal. We owe our existence to the light of stars. Thanks for joining us on this journey inside the sun. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating trips into the cosmos. Until the next time.